Welcome to This is Carol Robertson, spreading the love of Christ in word and song. This week, we'll be continuing our teaching series entitled Diamonds of the Cross, and Carol will be singing from many of the beautiful locations where we have filmed. You don't want to miss this program today, so stay tuned for the next 30 minutes. And now, here's Carol. Thank you, David Brewer. So glad you stopped by this week as we continue our series on the Diamonds of the Cross, one of my favorite subjects, and I believe it's going to help you today. You know, when you think about all the things that happened when Jesus was on the cross, it was such a monumental event, world-changing event, that supernatural miracles happened when Jesus was on the cross. And we're going to be talking about that this week. Let's take you to a song now that we pray will be a blessing to you, and I'll come back and talk about this week, the mysteries of the cross. Jesus says hello, hello every morning. He wants to walk with you today. Jesus says hello, hello every morning. He greets you with his mercy. Every day. Every day Jesus says hello, hello Every evening Through the stars And the moon that shines Jesus says hello, hello Through the wind that blows wants to walk with you day and night. Day and night. In the thunder or a still small voice through the valleys he wants to be our joy. Jesus says hello every morning he wants to walk with you every day in the sunrise all the birds that sing jesus reminds us that he made everything Jesus says hello every morning He wants to walk with you every day Yes, He wants to walk with you every day Jesus says hello All the supernatural miracles that happened when Jesus was on the cross and after His resurrection are recorded in the Gospel of Matthew chapter number 27. I want to read verse number 45 of Matthew 27 to begin with. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land unto the ninth hour. Now that is from 12 o'clock in the day to 3 o'clock in the afternoon was total darkness. And that fulfilled a prophecy in the book of Amos that said it would be dark at noonday. And by the way, if you have a problem believing the Holy Bible, that darkness is also recorded in Roman history. You can study Roman history and find the darkness that covered the whole land. But what does it really mean? The light of the world, the Lord Jesus, was suspended between heaven and earth the Creator Himself, and the sun bowed its head. Darkness covered the land while Jesus, the light of the world, was hanging on a cross. Isn't that amazing? All of creation acknowledged the Creator when He was on the cross. What does it mean spiritually to us? 
we are children of the light. We're not children of the darkness. And because we belong to Jesus and children of the light, He stepped into Satan's domain and took the keys away from Satan so you and I can walk in the light. Darkness is upon the face of the earth so you and I can walk in the light today. I'll be back after this song and we'll talk about another miracle that happened on the cross. If you gain the whole world and lose your soul, my friend, you've lost everything. If you live in a mansion with servants like a king, without Jesus, it's all in If you gain the whole world and lose your soul, you miss the real reason for life. True riches are found in knowing the Lord to be righteous in his eyes This world with all its riches will soon pass away If our treasures are in heaven they will never decay If you gain the whole world and lose your soul my friend, you've lost everything. If you gain the whole world and lose your soul, my friend, you've lost everything. If you live in a mansion, with servants like a king Without Jesus It's all in vain Another mystery of the cross is in Matthew 27 verse 51 And behold the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom and the earth did quake and the rocks rent. Oh, wow. When Jesus was on the cross, the veil of the temple on Mount Zion that separated the Holy of Holies from the true Holy of Holies, that separated God from the presence of man, was torn from the top to the bottom. It wasn't just a little tear. It was torn from the top to the bottom. And that is even recorded in the Jewish Talmud, interestingly enough. You know, sometimes when we go on our Holy Land trips and we go by the Wailing Wall and we see many of the unbelieving Jewish people praying at the rocks, I always tell our people, we don't pray to rocks. We don't have to go to a certain place to pray because a new and living way has been opened up that we have direct access to a holy God that's what that meant. When Jesus died, He was the perfect sacrifice and the way to a holy God has been opened up. Look what the writer of Hebrews says in Hebrews 10, 20. By a new and living way which He hath consecrated for us through the veil that is to say, His flesh. So the body of Jesus dying on the cross opened up a new and living way that we can pray to God. We have direct access to the Father. And then it says in this verse that there was a great earthquake. And it says the rocks rent. Again, all of creation is acknowledging the Creator is on the cross. I made the statement years ago, if Jesus 
uh, had have died and death would have held Jesus, all of the earth would have exploded because the Creator was on the cross. Thank God today that we have access to heaven because the body of Jesus opened up a new and living way. Hallelujah. I want you to remember that. Let that be established in your heart today that you have direct access to God when you pray and He hears you when you pray. Let's go to another song, shall we? And I'll be right back. If we lose our life, we will find true peace and a satisfied mind. But if we save our life, we will lose Jesus. All the world we must choose Jesus gave a great mystery That's troubled man throughout history When we try with our minds to understand This secret will slip through our hands If we lose our life we will find True peace And a satisfied mind But if we save Our life we will lose Jesus All the world we must choose Life is a gift from the Lord we can use If we take up our cross and not refuse Purpose is found if we only believe Heaven we will receive If we lose our life we will find True peace and a satisfied mind But if we save Our life we will lose Jesus All the world we must choose If we lose Our life we will find True peace and a satisfied mind But if we save our life we will lose Jesus, all the world we must choose Jesus all the world we must choose Carol's music has blessed and encouraged believers around the world since the 1980s. He has recorded well over 600 songs. Some of the music that you're hearing today is from the newest CD, The Story of Life which contains some powerful ministry songs, plus songs that will lift up your spirits and bring joy into your heart. The story of life is a glorious thing. Way up in the sky, His love can lift you high. I know who it is, and I'm gonna tell. His name is Jesus, who I know well. And what a day that will be when Jesus will see. And there will be forevermore. You can have any three of Carol's musical CDs for a gift to the ministry of only $30 or any 15 CDs for $125 plus shipping and handling. And when you call, ask about our quantity specials for Carol's entire musical library. Call 1 800 523 3228. That's 1 800 523 3228. 
or visit us at carolrobertson.com. And thank you again for helping us to keep these programs going into the hearts of people everywhere. There's just one God who made everything. We would like to give you a personal invitation to join us on our next pilgrimage to the Holy Land, March the 17th through the 28th, 2024. Four nights in Jerusalem, five nights at the Sea of Galilee, plus a three-day optional tour to the country of Jordan and visit the mysterious city of Petra, one of the seven wonders of the world. I cannot tell you what walking in the land of Israel has done for me over these years. It makes the Bible jump off the page into your heart. Please make plans to go with us, and this will be a life changer, I promise you. Join us. Call the number on the screen, 423-309-8555. 423-309-8555. Our tour coordinator is Linda Shoemaker, a volunteer who really loves the Lord and she will help you to get signed up today. Sure hope you're enjoying the program today. Stay tuned. We're talking today about the mysteries of the cross. Yes, God will change everything and He will start with you. Oh yeah, He will change all the ways that you better walk in. And he will change all the ways that you've been talking. He will forgive all your sins and make you new. Yes, God will change everything and he will start with you. Oh yeah, he will change all the places where you used to go. Give you a love for the people that you used to know. He will open the Bible and give you truth. Yes, God will change everything and He will start with you. There'll be a love in your heart that everyone can see. Jesus has set you free. The music that you listened to, God will change. All the pictures in your house, He will rearrange. Your dreams and your future, He will change the view. change everything and he will start with you yes god will change everything and he will start with you oh yeah god will change everything oh yeah god will change everything oh yeah with you as we continue talking about the mysteries of the cross this week Look in Matthew 27, verse 52 through 53. And the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Now this is a strange, mysterious passage of Scripture that's only recorded here in Matthew 27. We do not know who those bodies were, but like Lazarus, they came forth and they were appointed to go into the city of Jerusalem to speak to certain people. We don't know who they were. But this happened after the resurrection and through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, Matthew was inspired to write this down here while Jesus was on the cross. But he wanted us to know that it was after his resurrection that this mysterious, mysterious happening of the bodies came out of the graves and went into the city of Jerusalem. Isn't that amazing? Okay, let's look at another miracle. In Matthew 27, 54, Now when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly this was the Son of God. 
It's interesting to me that every time a centurion is mentioned in the four Gospels, it always has a positive connotation. Here is one of the Roman centurions that helped to crucify our Lord. And when he saw Jesus hanging on the cross, they had never crucified anyone that acted the way Jesus did. When he saw the earthquake, when he saw the darkness and everything that happened, this centurion said, truly this man is the Son of God. Did you know in Roman history, that man became a follower of Jesus? Roman history says his name was Longinus and he became a great soul winner. And I have no doubt believing that. He was converted when he saw Jesus. That's a miracle, folks. He was converted when Jesus was on the cross. Let's do one more miracle. In Luke 23, verse 42 through 43, And he said, Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. You've heard it all your life, but the two thieves that were on the cross, one rejected Jesus, and this one acknowledged that he was a sinner, and he acknowledged that Jesus was the Lord, and he acknowledged that Jesus was the King of the kingdom. And he says, will you just remember me, Lord, when you come into your kingdom? This is a miracle, folks. A life is being transformed while Jesus is on the cross. And Jesus says, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. The greatest miracle of all is when someone comes to know Christ. They're regenerated through the Holy Spirit. Maybe today, maybe today, the Holy Spirit wanted you to be in tune to this program. You need Christ as your Lord and Savior. Believe He died for you on the cross, that all your sin was paid for. Invite Jesus to come into your heart today and you can experience this miracle that this thief on the cross experienced. I pray that you will. I love you. Let's take you to another song, shall we? On the day when my Lord was crucified Three men on a cross were all condemned to die Two thieves that were guilty from a path they had trod But the other was my Savior sinless Lamb of God As they hung from the cross one mocked the Lord Save us and yourself if thou be the Son of God But the other realized he deserved his destiny With a dying breath he whispered Lord Please Remember me A forgiven thief Stands on heaven's shore A man who found God's mercy From the life he lived before Jesus saw his faith Now his sin remains no more And today a forgiven thief Stands on heaven's shore Some people wonder how could all this be Two thieves that were guilty But one would go free When we cry out to the Lord Our faith is all he sees The same love that would save my soul Save a dying thief A forgiven thief stands on heaven's shore A man who found God's mercy From the life he lived before Jesus saw his faith Now his sin remains no more And today a forgiven thief Stands on heaven's shore Jesus saw his faith Now his sin remains no more And today a forgiven thief
stands on heaven's shore the Lord Don't say no He loves you so He died on the cross to make a way so heaven you could go He's waiting now for your answer Please don't say no to Jesus the Lord. Don't say no to life evermore. All your sins washed away if you say yes this very day. Please don't say no. Please don't say no. Please say yes and find happiness. Jesus, your life, he wants to bless. So find your place to worship and praise, surrender, and you'll know. And let God's spirit start to flow. Please don't say no. the Lord Don't say no to life evermore All your sins washed away If you say yes this very day Please don't say no Please don't say no This very day, please don't say no. Please don't say no. Carol's music and many of his Bible messages are now available on our new ministry app. Just go to your app search and type in Carol Robertson Ministries and download it free. Also, you can follow Carol on Facebook each day, and hundreds of videos are available on YouTube. We rejoice that the Lord is using this ministry to reach countless people for Christ in the U.S. and many parts of the world.